Is this the kind of world you want to live in? Polluted, heavy, damp and musky, Filled with chemicals in the air, Slowly destroying the lungs of many? I doubt so. This is a world without environmental engineering. In order to avoid something like this, attention must be paid to this aspect of our world. As of now, more than 5 million people die each year from air pollution related causes, according to research presented at a 2016 American Association for the Advancement of Science conference. Chemical reactions from air pollutants can form acid, causing acid rain, which can be detrimental to the environment. And to top it all off, air pollutants are also increasing the rate at which the world is warming, changing the ecosystems in many places, making it a struggle for some animals to survive. Well, what even is air pollution? It's simple, really. Air pollution is when a harmful substance enters the air that we breathe. How does it happen? A lot of things can cause air pollution. Factories and other manufacturing businesses emit large amounts of carbon monoxide as a byproduct, which is very poisonous. Fossil fuels used in vehicles can also emit carbon monoxide and other various unhealthy gases. And a minor cause of air pollution can be the use of cleaning products like air fresheners and other aerosol cans. Air pollution can cause many health problems, like irritation and bronchitis, or even longer-term problems, like lung disease and emphysema, but of course, it is not limited to that. Oh no! How could we avoid this? That's where environmental engineering comes into play. They have many different processes they go through to ensure safe air for everyone. For example, whenever a new factory or other similar establishment is being built, they can inspect it to identify the types of compounds that will be used in its production, and also to see what kinds of air pollutants it will make. They can then use that info for more eco-friendly results. They can also make sure everyone complies with the Clean Air Act, but most importantly, they create things that can contribute to reduce the smogginess in the air. From advancements in alternative fuel sources to better air filters, environmental engineers can really cause a difference and have already contributed a lot, especially with spreading awareness. According to the Environmental Protection Agency graphs, the amount of air pollutants in the air is steadily decreasing from 1990 to 2015. If we keep on trying to maintain air quality, it will surely become better. Whoa! Yep, but remember, you could also help to contribute the change for better air by relying less on cars, conserving energy usage, and using eco-friendly products, you could help in the fight against a smoggy environment.